Hi everyone, Tintin57 here with another Trentin World 2 Creators Club video. Today I'm back to look at a livery I know pretty well from seeing it many many times in real life up north and this is the one from Jason PFC which is the Northern Rail livery for the class 150. I thought I would take this on a short run on the West Cornwall local between St Earth and St Ives. Thanks again to Jason PFC for submitting this livery and sharing it with us all and if you also want to grab this you can see the details right now here on the screen. So here we are, this is service 2A07 if you want to follow along from St Earth to St Ives and we are in the Northern Rail liveried 150, let me just get everything set up before we take a look outside I have already opened the doors, let's get the safety systems on So here it is, very lovingly recreated I must say. Very very nice. I must say with Creators Club that when there is a train that you recognise quite well, it does, it does bring a little bit of added excitement to playing the game. So many, so many trains in the game, and not everybody identifies with those or knows what they are, or you know, it sometimes cares less. They just play them because they're in the game and they enjoy playing them. But once you've got, once you've got a livery that you actually know quite well, it just make a great difference. I'm absolutely loving this one, and it only came, became available for Creators Club yesterday, from what I can gather. So we'll do this short run. It's not long, 10 minutes, something like 10 minutes. And we'll take a look at it as we uh, as we get to the course line. We'll be able to look at it in a bit more detail. But if you're from the north, and particularly the northwest, like I am, then this is one you'll probably really enjoy. You will have seen this in real life. Thank you, by the way, to DTG for giving me the key for this West Cornwall route. This is not one that I had previously, so thank you to them for allowing me to get access so I can make the content. And what a lovely morning it is down in West Cornwall. Now we wouldn't see this. We wouldn't see this livery, would we? Down in West Cornwall. Not unless there was some kind of special visit that Northern Rail were doing all this way down down south, but the issue at the moment with the Creators Club is that I'm unable to use this livery in Scenario Planner because what I wanted to do is is run this 150 in this livery on the Northern Trans Pennine, and uh, that's a bit weird. What are those blocks of snow? Very strategically placed blocks of snow. No idea. Anyway, but yeah, I wanted to use this on Northern Trans Pennine because you would obviously see it there. And uh, it isn't available, unfortunately. If you set up a scenario on Northern Trans Pennine, all I could see was the standard regional railways livery that comes with this 150 for this route. So I've had to jump onto West Cornwall to uh, to actually show you this, but that's fine. And in a, in another iteration of Creators Club, I would hope that they give you the option to to use any of your liveries across any route. That's what it really needs. So here's our first stop. This is Lelant. I, I think you pronounce it. Uh, more random blocks of snow, which seems weird. I don't really know what that's about. I'm assuming it's snow. 
I can't think what else it would be. Everybody on the platform is wearing a t-shirt, so it can't be that cold. Maybe they think Northerners are a bit harder than everybody else, and so uh, they've come out in t-shirts in the cold weather to appreciate the Northern livery and the Northern people. Plenty of people on the platform, but uh, they obviously they're a bit late. We've got to get away. I haven't played much with this 150 yet, but I do like it. Um, yeah, I would agree with what people are saying that normally, if you've if you've watched these 150s, the driver will. It will put it in top whack as he's leaving the platform and it's very noisy and it pulls away very slowly even when the throttle is, is pushed up to the max and uh, this, this 150 in the game doesn't really act like that to say the least I hope it's something they'll fix at some point I usually can't get involved in the what's real and what isn't real conversation because um, most of the time not being a solid rail fan I don't I don't always know what is and what isn't real with some of these with some of these uh, trains that we've got this one I do I've traveled on this so much and when I worked for regional railways back in the 90s and I've mentioned this on a previous video some time back when I was traveling to and from uh, Manchester from Preston. If you've ever been on a service from Preston to Manchester in rush hour, you'll know that you don't even realize that these things have got seats. They are so packed. And if you manage to, well, once you get to Bolton, you can forget about it because everybody's nearly trying to get on the roof. They're so busy. So I am um, working for regional railways. I knew a lot of the staff. I knew a lot of the actual on train stuff and it had its advantages because generally they would let me jump in the back and at the rear and sit in the driver's seat so this cab I actually know quite well I've spent many many hours traveling in this cab just utilizing the, uh, the empty driver's seat at the back just to get away from the hustle and bustle I always remember you would you would get to your destination, you would open the, the door from the driver's area and there would be people like sardines pressed right up to where you're actually trying to walk to get out of the uh, train because obviously you've got to come back into the, the main part of the train to, to leave. So, just a little story there, I do know this train, I quite like it, I've always quite liked it, there's nothing particularly remarkable about it. But I think after a pacer, as charismatic as charismatic as a pacer is, um, these are a big step up, I would say. So we're nearly at Carbis Bay. I do quite like the look of this route, I have to say. I was talking yesterday in yesterday's video with the uh, Climate Hero 66 about the line between Cornforth and Carlisle up the, this, the uh, Cumbrian coast. This, this kind of gives a taste of what that line could look like in Trades in World 2. Just makes me think it'd be a, be a good one somewhere down the line to be able to bring into the game if it's one that's on DTG's radar. This service as well does feel like a little, you know, short coastal service. It's pretty good. 
So don't forget, if you do want to follow along and run this one yourself, this is this is 2A07, St Earth to St Ives. The brake squeals pretty nice as well. Plenty of people getting on. This was this was such a refreshing thing to see when I moved from PS4 to PS5 that just the number of passengers just helped the immersion so much, the increase. Played on the P PS4 for for many years as you know, and it always seemed just a bit dead and then the DTG streams would show and playing on PC and they had so many passengers like this on the platform and even that just just made the world feel more lived in. You know, some of the really positive change they made for this version. So we've got a mile to set eyes. This is the Northern Livery, absolutely love it. I'm going to run this one quite a bit. The regional railways livery that comes with it is pretty good, but this one, I do like this one. And like the 66 yesterday, there are lots and lots of liveries for the 150 in Creators Club. There's not just this one, there may be one local to you. If you're in the UK, there may be one local to you. Just, just check it out. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as I can run this on the Northern Trans Pen, I'll be happy. And if I'm not doing that right, and somebody knows how I can do that, then then let me know. I I think what might have to happen is that this was this was Jason PFC that that uploaded this livery. I think if he was to upload a scenario on NTP that used this livery and saved it on Creators Club, we could download that scenario and it would automatically pick this livery for us on the 150. I think that is the way you would be able to do it. Because there are some scenarios on the Creators Club where it does say in the requirements that to be able to run this this particular scenario with the, with the non-standard uh, engine for that route, you would need also to get this livery, so you have to, you know, you have to sometimes go off and get the livery. They could do to put a link page in those scenarios. If there are any other liveries you need to complete the scenario, there should be a little link page underneath, so you can say, oh, you've got this scenario. Now, also, you will need this, and just click it. Now, you've got to go away, and you've got to search for it. So it's not ideal. You can click on the username of the of the um, uploader, and you can see everything that they've uploaded. You can do it that way, but it's a bit. It's a bit clunky. And this is St Ives, everybody. So just a short run, but a really enjoyable run. And this livery is great. I would encourage you to pick this up if you've got an interest in, in Northern Rail. Someone will take over and take this back up now to St Earth, I'm sure. So that's it for today. Just a short one. Hope you enjoyed it. It's another great one. Please subscribe and leave me a like if you enjoyed it and we'll do some more of these creator club videos over the coming weeks all the best everybody cheers bye for now take care